before it used to be quite um, regimented, people got married at a young age, it was an expectation of people um, and it was generally an expectation that it would be a heterosexual marriage, um, things like that, whereas uh, at a young age reasonably, whereas now I think people have become very liberal and their ideas very open and accepting um, and so now I think it's portrayed just as somebody would perceive it as an individual, really. So, mm -hmm. so now there are things like people get married, people either make the active choice not to get married because they feel that it's no different to just being in a relationship without marriage, or people choose to get married much later on in life. Now people have decided that it shouldn't be frowned upon, that you perhaps have children before marriage. So all of these things, I think it's portrayed very differently now. I think we're on the verge of things changing. If someone wanted to cohabit with me and not get married, I think it would be an issue because why not? Like there has to be a valid reason to not want to get married. If if that was the case, I don't know. I've it's like I've had all this <laughs> these plans, and then after you get married, you're like living together anyway. So it's more or less the same thing, apart from the fact that it's legal. I mean, yeah, it's a legal thing. But if I've like made all these plans, and like I know what I, what I went into what how I want my wedding to be and then I don't end up having one. I don't know. I don't I don't think I would like that. I personally think that like I know a lot of people don't agree with it anymore. Marriage is important to me anyway. Like I definitely want to get married in my future. I just I don't know. I don't know. I just think it's a beautiful thing to just be with someone you want forever. You don't have to keep them forever. <laughs> it's seen as such a special one once in a lifetime moment for women that they and they're granted these things so often they are, are in a position where they've saved for a long time and they have the money or they have somebody who's happy and willing to contribute for example a parent um, and so that they have they're kind of granted in in a practical way financially sometimes mm -hmm. but also just in a in, in this kind of um, psychological way, it's it's a one time, a rare occasion where you can really kind of self indulge and think of the things you like, oh colour schemes and my favourite flowers and what how will we plan the day and what kind of music will we have and all of these things and I think it's this kind of princess um, again this this image of the princess getting married that again comes through. You think about things like Disney films where there's a princess and a prince and, you know, they, they, they get married and there's this oh-so-wonderful oh occasion. And I think we taught that all the way along, again, with, uh, with other films as well. There's so many films about marriage and young love and planning a wedding, lots of um, comedies about planning a wedding and things that go wrong and bridezillas, things like that. I got the definition of marriage probably from my parents. Um, like they've been married for I think 25 years now. Um, movies as well. I'm I'm like a hopeless romantic, so yeah. Just just the idea of marriage to me, like since I was a kid, I just I always knew that I wanted to get married. Quite a lot of people say it's you know it's the bride's day, it's the bride's day, but it's quite a huge impact on the guy as well. I mean he's he's committing to spend the rest of his life with just this one woman, so. It's, it's both of their day, really. I wouldn't let my mother-in-law um, really have an input in the wedding. If she was like, oh, I want you to wear this dress because it means so much to me, I would say, no, it's not your day, it's my day. No, I'm not wearing it. Um, my husband, yeah, I would. Because it's, you know, it's both of our days. It's mostly mine, but it's both of our days. But anyone else, no, I wouldn't really let them have that much of a say into it. From what I've had exposure to, I think the women often take the take the chains and just make the decisions um, and the men often take a back seat and are quite happy for things to be organized for them I mean for example I know of situations where the the man has exp explicitly said oh I'm just please just give me a suit the suit I'm wearing and I'm really happy to just turn up on the day and have a glass of wine and just have you to hold and to, to know I'm, I'm making things official with you forever. So it's not necessarily not being romantic, but it's kind of this lack of interest in the whole showy, everything needing to be perfect and specific and things like that. 
and that I think that stems in really neatly to um, feelings of commitment. The whole, the whole um, idea that women perhaps may be uh, more ready to commit to a marriage, to a lifetime together, and perhaps the the kind of common conception is that males are less ready mm -hmm. or ready at, an, at a later age or have mm -hmm. more doubts about committing to marriage for life.